Welcome to the special edition of CSIR Connect. As we proudly celebrate 80 years of pioneering innovation, we are honored to welcome His Excellency, President Cyril Ramaphosa to the CSIR Scientia campus for this momentous occasion. This visit underscores the CSIR's vital role in the national system of innovation, showcasing our groundbreaking research and the impact we continue to make in advancing South Africa's development. Let's dive into that conversation. For me, it is a real pleasure to be here, particularly in the 80th year of the CSIR's establishment, which is 80 years of innovation, advancement, as well as progress. Now, over many decades, uh, the CSIR has been known to be a center, a council of developing groundbreaking technologies as well as solutions. Now, I've had the privilege in the past of seeing your capability, but I'd like to say today you really blew my mind in more ways than one. And I'd like to applaud you for what you do here. It's truly excellent. <clears throat> Dr. Zamini, thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to CSRR Connect on this beautiful day as we are welcoming the President of the Republic of South Africa. No, thank you. Please talk to us about, uh, for the past 80 years, the CSRR has played a pivotal role in South Africa's research and development landscape. Looking ahead, what would you say are the strategic priorities that will ensure the CSRR's continued relevance and impact in a rapidly evolving global economy? Now, thank you very much for this very relevant question. You know, the trajectory that we embarked on now six years ago of ensuring that as a CSR we continue to focus on our contribution to building a capable state and supporting industrial development in South Africa is not going to change. Yeah. Then what we need to do now is to accelerate the pace and scale at which we are able to do this. In fact, the, the visit today by the President will help us in a significant way to achieve particularly our contribution to the creation of a capable state. I think as you heard the president say that perhaps the state is not using enough of the capability that sits within the CSIR. And we hope that, you know, in the period beyond our 80th anniversary, we'll see more involvement of the CSIR as a key technology partner for the state. Mm. Of course, we'll continue also our role that we are playing in terms of supporting industrial development in the areas that we've identified for ourselves. Yes. I think our direction remains what it is. I think the focus now is going to be the increased scale and pace at which we are able to do the things that we've been doing in the past. Exciting times indeed. Um, and Dr. D, as you know, uh, this visit comes at a time when the CSIR is celebrating 80 years of touching lives through innovation. Do you have any special message, not just for Team CSIR, but for the people of South Africa as we mark this moment in history? I think it's very clear that you know, the CSIR is a world-class organization. We are a national asset with capabilities that can support the state, that can support the government. We are open for business. Mm -hmm. We want to invite government, we want to invite our partners from industry, both locally and internationally to tap into this capacity that sits within South Africa, particularly the time now you know, when issues of sovereignty and strategic independence are becoming so important yeah. with the shifting geopolitical situation we are seeing in the world. We have the capacity here to solve our problems mm -hmm. and we are ready to work with our partners to achieve the objectives that they have set for themselves. I like that. We are indeed open for business. Dr. D, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Dr. Nzumande, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to CSRR Connect. 
Thank you very much. So please talk to us about the significance of this event for South Africa's public science system. Well, there are a number of important aspects that are very important about this visit. Firstly, the fact that the president is visiting this centre is something that is very important because it's an unusual opportunity to expose the president to what one of our premier science institutions are doing. And this fits in with our mantra of placing science, technology and innovation at the center of government, education, industry and society. So you can't hope for better if you have the president here. Secondly, it's very important for South Africans to know about what an institution like the CSIR is doing. Because this institution has got lots of capacity for innovation, scientific advances, in fact, even capacity to assist government on many fronts without having have to go outside. Just to give you an example, by the way, when at some stage I asked the former Minister of Health, Omam Kosazana Laminizum, how did you build so many clinics mm. from 1994, health clinics? She said, I went to the CSIR to design for me a model clinic and cost it. So right from the word go, I knew exactly what to do and all that. The amount of resources we give to support the science system in South Africa are very important, but they are not enough. So through this visit, we hope we're going to underline that as well. All right. Uh, so, Dr. Ndumande, you've alluded now to the importance of uh, South Africans understanding and knowing uh, the capabilities of the CSRR. Um, so, in your view, what more can be done to increase public awareness about the innovative work that is being done at the CSRR? Well, there's lots that needs to be done. The first thing is what I told you about our mantra. Yeah. The reason why we say we want to place science, technology and innovation at the center of government, education, industry and society is because those are key areas in which we must locate science. Very briefly, we mustn't take it for granted that all of government understands mm. what we are about as the public science system. So we have to work consciously towards that. Education is very important because without appropriate foundational education, you'll never be able to produce scientists and scientific knowledge by the way. Similarly, industry is very important. Partnership between private industry and public sector like the state-owned entities, it's very important uh, in order to take forward uh, science, as well as society generally, including ordinary people who need to understand what science is about. About ordinary people is very interesting, by the way, because we also have what we call our indigenous knowledge system. Yeah. Many of our people believe in some of these things not knowing how important they are, whether it's about reading the stars, astronomy, mm -hmm which is a scientific exercise, as well as using the herbs that we've got lots of types of them in South Africa. We may be able to find new medicines, but also new cosmetics, by the yeah. way, as a matter of interest. So that's one way through this mantra very important points you raised there, Minister. I think you've already touched on CSR, CSR projects, cosmetics, medicine. We've also got projects on cannabis. There's a lot. And I think, uh, as you already know, the CSR is extensively involved in areas like artificial intelligence, advanced manufacturing, and biotechnology, just to name a few. You've already touched on a couple. Um, so how do you see these fields influencing national policy and economic growth? No country that does not invest in science, technology and innovation can ever hope to grow and develop its economy and its people. So science now is becoming even more important with new technologies that are, I, I imagine. But also as South Africa, by the way, our, I must emphasize this, we are promoting science not because we just want to promote people who understand science and consume science knowledge. We also want to produce new knowledge mm. as South Africa. We're a very talented nation, 
we actually need to do that. So science is very important. Now, area of artificial intelligence, that's the future. A country that also does not pay particular attention to that uh, will not be able to move forward. For example, I recently attended a world government summit in Dubai. The minister who was hosting that summit said something that struck me. He said, technological advancements over the last 25 years will be overtaken 10 or 15 times more by technological advancements that are likely to happen over the next 25 years. Biotechnology is also very important. It's fundamental because it contributes to a whole range of areas, most importantly to health innovation. Innovation in health is, is very important. So the areas that the, the CSIR is focusing on are at the heart of what we want to do. Also, they are at the heart of our decadal plan, our 10-year plan for science, technology and innovation for South Africa. Great talking to you, Minister. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Dr. Naidu, yes. thank you so much for joining us and welcome to CSR Connect. Thank you. Great to be here. Please talk to us about the importance of today's visit. Uh, it's been a lot in preparation for this big day. Uh, it's not every day that the state president visits an institution like the CSR. I've been here for more than 25 years and we've never had a visit by a state president of this stature uh, yeah. and of this uh, level of engagement, so we're very excited about it. During engagements with stakeholders, we often hear that uh, CSR is the country's best kept secret. Yeah. Today is not a day for secrets, it's for the president to really see who we are, uh, what we can do to give him an appreciation of the brightest minds working at some really interesting work and, and how that contributes to a capable state. So today is the day that the president gets to see the jewel in the crown of South Africa. I love that. And as the CSR celebrates 80 years of scientific research and technological advancement, how would you say, uh, or how do you see the organization continuing to drive innovation and impact over the next 80 years? Over the last 80 years, there are so many highlights in, in our very decorated history um, from developing radar technology, to developing ventilators during COVID, to supporting ESCOM during load shedding, um, uh, spinning out uh, the NRF, the Space Agency, South African Bureau of Standards, and even starting the missile industry in the country. So there are so many wonderful highlights in our history. What I would like to see going forward is that we continue yeah. down this legacy of um, doing great things in the country, inspiring new industries, supporting industries uh, that are currently positioning for global competitiveness, but also um, really enable a capable state. We'd like to see new industries come out. We'd like to see a really capable and excellent uh, state ability in, in supporting South Africa going into the future. Definitely more great work coming out from the yes. CSRR. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Naidu. You're welcome. Today's discussions have reaffirmed the critical role of science and innovation in shaping South Africa's future. The CSRR remains committed to pushing the boundaries of research and development for the next 80 years and beyond. A heartfelt thank you to President Cyril Ramaphosa, our esteemed guest, and everyone who joined us today. This is more than just a celebration of our legacy. It is a renewed commitment to driving impactful innovation for South Africa and the world. Stay inspired, stay innovative, and keep connecting with CSRR Connect.